Right now, a race to restore power in Tuolumne County. Thousands left in the dark for more than a day after severe storms roared through the region. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Hunter Sowers. And I'm Curtis Ming. CBS 13 Shante Passmore is getting answers on these power problems. For a place like Groveland, losing power isn't just a matter of inconvenience. People say they've lost power here a couple of times during the height of its busy season, and the back-to-back -back power loss is dealing a blow for small businesses. With the lights turned on in Groveland, it's easy to see what was lost. Some of the uh, restaurants and the lodging industry, they had to give money back to their guests because their guests said, well, this isn't what we expected. Bay Area, Sacramento is coming up. Here. In Joni Giesler's case, no power, no internet meant no business at Ranch Revived. PG&E reports nearly 900 lightning strikes were detected in the region Saturday. More than 30 transformers got hit. Most customers in Calaveras County received power. In Tuolumne, the process painstakingly slow. So we kind of can bartend a little bit cash only, but we can't serve any food. So we lost a lot of business in that fashion. The Iron Door Saloon, fortunate to have a generator, though many residents and some restaurants completely in the dark. The food everybody has is going bad because you know, unless you have a generator, and a lot of people up here don't have the money to afford you know, generators to uh, keep their refrigerator going and stuff like that. Some customers lost power for more than 24 hours. A PG&E spokesperson blamed it on the widespread damage to its equipment. The question, is the utility company on the hook for claims? PG&E told me customers can file claims, but if it's weather related without any extenuating circumstances, it's not likely those claims will be paid out. For Giesler, the explanation, not good enough. Groveland PG&E customers say they also lost electricity on 4th of July. So are we going to be fearful that every time a cloud appears in the sky, the power is going to go off? Around here, there have been questions asking why didn't PG&E activate a microgrid? A spokesperson tells me usually that's only done when there's a planned power outage, meaning customers are warned ahead of time and crews have time to get it up and running. 